on this side of the graph I want tapping sizes so once again factor in those values up the vertical side of the graph it might be handy if I open up a second window for this I'll close that for now Let's just type them in here, 2.9, 3.3, actually it might be easier if I do them directly from my M sizes, so if I go to 3.5, I go 2.9, M4, is 3.3 M4.5 3.7 M5 4.2 M6 is 5 M7 is 6 M8, 6.8, M9 is 7.8, M10, 8.5, and M11, 9.5. So now all, the, all of these items here are purely just helpers. There are no consequence yet. So once again I'll open up the B spline, create curves and I'm going to draw a spline through points, enter data points automatically. All those settings there, I'll just change the colour of this. From the zero point through all of those. And now what I want to do is create that line Actually, I can delete these because they're no longer needed. All of them, in fact. I'm going to constrain a vertical line and a point on intersection. Now, if we have a. If I add a point here at the end of that line and fix it. Now I can take a dimension from that line to the point and let's let's have a horizontal line as well. Constrain that point on the line. Now we can take a dimension from that line to the orange point. So I'm going to assign the m values to the horizontal axis. Let's do it from this window. So assign tread size m value 8 to the horizontal axis dimension. And I can already see my retrieve value is 6.8. Let's check that off the table. M8, 6.8. So I'm going to drive this dimension from here. So let's assign that. Drilling size now becomes 6.8. And that is a well-defined solution now. Let's delete these notes because they're of no, lo no longer of any use. In fact, the whole table is no longer of any use. Let's bring those back down now. I bring Close that window. Bring the drilling size over here. No, the M, the M size over here, and change that to primary, which it probably is already, and change this one to construction. Now I 
can assign it's already assigned of course just attach some some circles for halls turn off constructions let's make that same symbology as we have take those dimensions change them to constructions Let's stick a dimension on it. You can even edit the text of that dimension, it won't hurt it in any way. So Let's call that the tapping size. Now let's let's test it by modifying the M value. So if I change that to a M7, tapping size is six. If I change it to an M5. Tapping size is 4.2. And both of the holes are changed, of course. Now just double check that off the table. Yeah, that's correct. So I can the table is not even valid anymore. It can be removed from the removed from the drawing. And all the work has been done by this little widget up here, which should be hidden. Until we toggle on constructions. And all our work is coming from that that little spline there. In fact, if you are to do something like this, I would recommend maybe locking that item. If you information it, you can change it to locked like that, or you can use a key. In. And that will prevent anyone accidentally dragging on any of the points of that spline. And if I undo that and select it, you can now drag the points and mess up the spline and mess up the whole thing. So let's keep it locked. And that's how to do table lookups.